come back to my next class, that is chapter 3. In the chapter 3, I will be dealing with phrase, sentence, clause and also subject and predicate. So let me start with phrase. You might have learned what is phrase, but in detail I would like to tell you the phrase. Phrase is a group of words which does not make any complete sense. Because it may not have the part which is needed to complete the sentence. For example, in the corner. It's not there. What is in the corner is not given. So we need to place what is in the corner. And then again in front of the house. What is in front of the house? So like incomplete sense giving is phrase. And again the we do have types of phrases that you will be learning in the advanced chapters, not right now. And again about sentence. Sentence also group of words which make complete sense. Sentence will have, a sentence will have its own subject, predicate and making complete sense. So example I have given since I have seen all uh, response from my beloved ex-students. I am giving an example of I love all my ex-students. It's a complete sentence. So that is for the sentence. And then kinds of sentences we do have that will be dealt in the later advanced chapters. Again about the clause. Now what is a clause? It is also a part of sentence only. Sentence only. So a clause is a sentence that forms part of a larger sentence. For example, you see, she told me that she needed some moral support. So what happened here? She told me, gives sense. It's a giving sense. And then that she needed some moral support. Now this is the part of that larger sentence. This is called clause. 